All right, hey guys, welcome back to the Duck Hill Workshop. I just got back in from making first cuts, milling uh, the, the, the two red oak logs that are bound to become the flooring uh, for my timber frame garden shed that we're working on right now. So the next step in that is to make the vertical uh, 90 degree cuts from that first face and that'll square our beam, um, our cant, and that'll allow us then to just come in and make boards. I don't have to do any cutting on the table saw. I don't have to do any planing. We're gonna rough saw them and leave them and put them in the, the, the shed. So to do that, I need a mill, a beam mill to make that 90 degree, 90 degree cut. And that's what we have right here. I have actually not opened this. If you've watched all my other unboxings, you know that I am really impatient when it comes to getting new stuff. And I always, 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 always open them before that I actually make the video. I haven't done that this time. This box is perfectly intact. And we're gonna open it up. Uh, so I actually, I ordered this from Northern Tool because when I did that, I knew that I would get it right away. Whereas ordering from Granberg, which I would rather do, um, I think, I would rather order directly from a supplier than going through a middleman. Uh, but it always takes like two weeks to process payment and then another week or more to, to ship. And I'm like... Uh, so, anyways, ordered from Northern Tool. It got here relatively quickly. All right, that's invoices, a catalog, holy neon orange, and the Granberg GBB, no, G555B mini mill chainsawing attachment. So that box goes away. Oh, sad. The Granberg sticker got all mangled up. Catalog. Hardware. Oh, wow. The extruded track. They're two foot sections and they send you one, two, three, four, five, six. So send you 12 feet. I have to make 16 and a half foot beams. Later. I might have to order more track. There is the attachment itself. It's actually pretty simplistic and pretty genius at the same time. And the rest of the hardware. The safety shield. So right on. <clears throat> Anyways, there you have it. And I don't know, you make some adjustments, you put it on the track, it holds the saw and you like push something like that. Whatever. The other thing, oh, okay. So the thing that I didn't wait to open was two new framing squares. Well, this one's a really cute little thing. That's not, I don't know, you could call it a framing square. It can do framing things. Uh, these are from the Chapel Universal Square Company. Uh, square and Rule Company in Brownsfield, Maine. Brownfield, Maine. Uh, what makes them cool, so all all framing squares um, are an inch and a half. So like the cool thing about framing squares is they were made for timber framing. Uh, so you can test your sizes. I gotta remember exactly how, how it uh, works. All right, so that's two inches and that's an inch and a half. 
So the nice thing is, is that you can use these to gauge your uh, mortise and tenon widths. So you can use it to set your joinery without measuring or with doing the bare minimum amount of measuring. The cool thing that makes this, uh, the chapel squares, better than like the framing square you'd buy at a big box store is all of the information that they put on it. So the one that really gets me is the fact that they put a fraction to decimal conversion chart on here, all in sixteenths. You have to do a little bit of math in your head if you're like, huh, two sixteenths is 0.125. Well, two sixteenths is an eighth. Um, so it goes all the way up to 15, or 16 sixteenths at an inch, but uh, then it also gives you inch to millimeter, centimeter, and foot to centimeter conversions, millimeter to inch, centimeter to inch, meter to inches, and the golden ratio, pi. Uh, it gives you unequal uh, pitch uh, charts. and polygon tables to make six and eight sided um, rafter pieces. Um, and what else? So I have to learn how to read the, or use all of this stuff. It comes with a downloadable instruction booklet. That's real fancy. So that's pretty awesome. It's also, it's stainless steel. It's precision cut. It's not stamped. So they're nice crisp edges. So I got a big one, a little one. The little one does not have all the information stamped on it. So you can get a keychain. That's nice because it's like the number two thing that I Google is, uh, is fraction to decimal conversions. <clears throat> and the other cool thing about this that I love is that this is a center rule. So not only is it just a regular one, uh, what are they? Uh, this is an eight by six by eight inch rule but then it also lets you measure off center. So if you need a, a, a mortise that's two inches wide, you can set this down and measure an inch and an inch that center. So you can measure the center of your beam and bam, whatever. I love center rules. They save a lot of thinking. Um, and it's all marked for quarters and decimals. This is, these are super sexy little things. So I've got to make some nice cleats to display those or hang them up um, but that's those are the new things in the shop right now they're going to come in handy as we start timber framing and we're getting close we're going to use the beam mill to cut flooring and we're going to rock that over the weekend so i'll catch up with you guys as we make more progress and until next time